this video is going to introduce you to the F distribution. Now, the F distribution is the most complicated distribution we're going to work with, so I'm not going to go into quite as much detail as I did with the previous ones. I just want you to have a feel for what's going on here. The F distribution is a non-symmetric, continuous probability distribution that's used to perform inference on two population variances. The values of the distribution are denoted by the capital letter F with V1 and V2 in the subscript. V1 and V2 stand for the degrees of freedom. I don't want to work directly with the F tables whenever we talk about the F distribution. They can be awkward to use, so it's going to be easier if we just use Excel to calculate the values that we need. However, I do want you to have a sense for what's going on with the F distribution, so here are a few facts. The F distribution closely resembles the chi-square distribution, primarily because they're both used for variances. It's right skewed and unimodal. There are two parameters for the degrees of freedom for the F distribution. The reason is because we're working with two populations. What you'll eventually see is that the F statistics are ratios, so one parameter is used with the numerator, and the other parameter for the degrees of freedom is used for the denominator. The values of the F distribution go from zero to infinity, just like the chi-squared distribution, and the F distribution changes shape based on the degrees of freedom. Here's a visual of the F distribution. A majority of the area does get shifted down to the right as the degrees of freedom increase. However, since there are two parameters for the degrees of freedom, the pattern by which it shifts can be a little bit difficult to detect. Since this is the most complicated distribution to work with, just understand that the F distribution is non-symmetric and right skewed. That should help you whenever we ultimately perform a hypothesis test using this distribution.